So I'd like to ask one of our star professors, uh, Jeff Cohen, from our economics department, uh, just to talk a little bit about kind of how he uh, takes his passion for research and community service and um, provides great learning opportunities in those areas for students. Thank you very much, Dean Roth. I remember very well when we first met, um, I had told you I had been here for 13 years, and then you looked at me and you said, tell me, Jeff, what is it that you get excited about every day when you wake up and come to work? And I lit up, and I, and I got very excited to tell you about that. And the, and the answer that I gave you was that I get very excited about the research projects that I get to do with my students, because it gets them involved in the research that I do firsthand. And uh, for those of you who don't know, um, professors who, uh, who are full-time professors, we don't teach from nine to five, five days a week. We have set times during the week when we teach. And then during the other times, we're expected to do what we call research, focusing on specific problems, whether it's how to help a company uh, get through a, a problem that they're having, or in my case, looking at the costs of cleaning up the environment, or the costs of uh, solar energy, um, or healthcare costs, or uh, looking at urban land use and, and property taxation. And um, I've gotten very excited about these issues at, in the time that I've been here. Um, the reason that we have the time to focus on that is twofold. One is that our accrediting organization requires us to do it. The reason they do that is because they want us to have the most recent ideas and the most recent theories and concepts and applications brought into our business classes. So, um, you know, when I was telling Dean Roth about the stuff I get excited about, I told him about a sabbatical that I had about six or seven years ago where I spent a semester at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency uh, helping scientists there understand the economics of environmental protection. And then when I came back to the campus, I said, let me develop a course on environmental <coughs> economics, which I did. And then when I developed that course, I had students do research projects as a part of the course. And some of them were very, very good. And I worked closely with the students even after the semester ended. And we got uh, a couple of students who actually published papers based on the work they did in that class. And some of that work now is actually being used by the Environmental Protection Agency and other um, consulting companies that, that they contract, the EPA contracts work out to. So, so that's an example of, of some of the stuff I've always gotten very excited about. Um, other things I've done include uh, working, as I mentioned, on looking at the economic benefits and costs of solar energy. Um, that was a project that I did collaboratively with the engineering school, and we had some students who were involved in that. One or two of them now are working for engineering consulting companies. Um, I've done some work with students on health care costs. I have a student who's working uh, full time now at, at a Medicare consulting company. Stephanie has been working with me right uh, the last couple of years on looking at the cost of substance abuse treatment. And that, that interest in that area has, uh, has actually caused me to develop a course that I've taught once already called The Economics of Drugs, Smoking, and Alcohol. And um, there is no field work, no field trips involved in that class. <laughs> but, um, but, it's, but it's gained a lot of student interest for, for obvious reasons. And um, so, so that's, that's sort of a, a flavor of the kind of things that I get excited about, um, working closely with students on these initiatives, um, advising and mentoring that Dean already covered. I just want to say that the faculty take advising very seriously. We have one-on-one -on -one meetings with students at least once a semester, if not more often, to try and help them get ideas of what they should be taking for the next semester for courses, uh, what they still need to do for graduation. Um, and, and during the semester, if students are struggling sometimes, we get uh, what we call perform academic performance warnings. And, and I get an email from whoever the instructor is telling me that if the student's having difficulties, then we go and we meet with the student, try and help them resolve the issue. Um, the last item up here that I haven't talked about yet is community initiatives. We have something here called Upper Albany Main Street which is part of the Barney School. It's a community development organization that's intended to help small businesses in the city of Hartford with, um, with basic, any types of business problems that they might have. So to give you an example, we have a course that I'm going to be teaching in the spring called Small Business Practicum. And for that course, students from all different majors within the Barney School come together and learn the skills that you might need in order to help a small business. So for instance, uh, students in the past have have helped with uh, developing a business plan. Maybe marketing and management majors would help with that. Uh, accounting majors help some of these small businesses go and balance their books. And, and finance majors help with some financial aspects. 
that they need help with. So we have a variety of different ways to help get students involved with the community if that's what you're more interested in rather than, than maybe the global issue. You know, the social responsibility uh, can be seen in the community initiatives that we have in things such as Upper Albany Main Street. So all in all, um, you know, there's quite a bit going on here that, that is exciting and hopefully uh, we'll see some of you and I'm happy to talk with any of you individually either later or you can feel free to contact me throughout the time that you're looking for colleges. Thank you.